Hey guys, it's your girl Jay Antoinette and welcome back to another video. So before we get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe guys. I am going to be coming with a lot of bangers so don't forget to subscribe so that you can be tuned in for all my other videos, okay? So by the title of this video, you can tell it's something different. I just wanted to talk about a little bit of my hometown. You know, a lot of people don't know about Bermuda where it is. It's a very small island. It's all the way out in the ocean. So that's why a lot of people don't know about it or where it is. And for all my Bermudan people, you know that when you tell somebody that you're from Bermuda, the first thing they say is, oh, like in the triangle? No, we don't live in a triangle, people. We live on a small island and it's called Bermuda. All right, so let's get straight into this video. Fact number 10. Bermuda has a very small population, about 65,000 people. Now, where I live in Jamaica, the population is like 2 million plus. So 65,000 people is a small amount of population. Okay, people? Um, most of the population is made up of blacks, whites, Asians. We have a whole lot of different people in Bermuda. So there's a lot of mixing, you know, um, we have a lot of Portuguese. There's a lot of different nations in Bermuda itself. But yeah, that's the population. Fact number nine, Bermuda was actually made from a volcano. No, the volcano is not active. The actual island itself was made from the remnants of that volcano. I think that's awesome. I think that's what really makes Bermuda unique. Right? Um, so the next fact about Bermuda, that's fact number eight. We have nine parishes. Now, let me see if I can actually remember all of them. So there's Devonshire. There's Pembroke, there's Paget, there's Hamilton, there's St. George's, there's Somerset, there is Southampton, there's Smiths, and there's Sands and Warwick. I repeated something, but those are all the parishes, okay, people? Yeah, for a small island like that, we have that amount of parishes, okay? Now, when I was growing up, I used to live in Southampton. That's where all the nice beaches are. And for all the tourists that might be watching this, that is where Horseshoe Bay Beach is. A lot of people craze about that beach, okay? Um, that's like one of the top um, tourist attractions in the world. Horseshoe Bay is beautiful, okay? That is like, it's like a really beautiful beach. All right, so next fact we have an icon called the Gombes. Wow. Yes, so the Gombes are like one of our little icons. It's an iconic symbol. They do all these kind of dance performances that, you know, your girl can't really do, but <laughs> they are amazing. And I mean, it brings so much life and culture to a lot of our different events. And it just, they, look, when you hear those drums starting to beat and when you hear those people dancing, you want to be a part of that. That's how exciting it is, okay? I absolutely love the gumbays. My nieces love it. Actually, one time my niece, Sarah, said, Mommy, I want to be a gumbe. Like, that is how amazing the gumbays are, okay, people? They wear these really colorful uniforms um suits with hats and all this they just look really uniform and most of the time they're like at our cultural events so we have this really big parade called 24th of may now because of corona i doubt we'll be having 24th of may this year but it's like really like a huge event in bermuda like i'm talking about getting yourself a new gansey and all that and for people who don't know what gansey is it means like a new outfit okay <laughs> right so 24th of May is really big. Gombe is enormous there. It's exciting. It's fun. People, the Gombe is really beautiful. All right. So our next fact is you will never be far from the ocean. Bermuda is surrounded by water, okay? You turn this way, you see water. You turn that way, you see water. You walk out of your house, you see water, okay? There is water everywhere. 
So you will never be far from the ocean. You want to go for a dip, you jump over into the, the sea right across from you, okay? Some people even live on the shorelines right there. And then we have all these other little islands around too. So you can all, look, there's just water everywhere, <laughs> okay? So that's why when tourists come to Bermuda, the main thing they normally do is swim. Because we have so many beaches and so much water. All right, so our next fact is people. We are nowhere near the Caribbean, okay? We're not even really a Caribbean island. Sorry to all my Caribbean places, especially Jamaica. But we are not a Caribbean island. We're actually really close to North Carolina. I think it's North Carolina. We're really close to North Carolina. So we're actually really closer to the States than it is to to the Caribbean. I think the closest Caribbean island that we're closest to is Bahamas. But we're not in the Caribbean. We're all by ourselves in the Atlantic Ocean. By ourselves. Like, we're literally by ourselves. But anyways, yes. So we're not a Caribbean island. I think now I am at fact number six. I think. I think. But yeah, this might sound really strange to you guys. But tourists can't rent cars in bermuda and for all my bermudan people who are about to bash me people two-door electric cars is not a real car rental i said it okay now you can rent scooters so like bikes and guess what there's always the good old pink and blue the bus okay the bus will never fail you, all right? So especially if you're a tourist and you want to say stay, stay safe, just take the pink and blue, okay? Just take the pink and blue. Don't even try and get on a bike, please. I've seen so many accidents since I was a little. Just take the pink and blue, people, all right? Um, fact number five. Our national dish is fish chowder. No, tell me why I didn't find this out till like I was a teenager. Like at every event and every um cultural event that we had, we always had codfish and potatoes. So when I finally found out that it was fish chowder, I was like, was I lied to? Was my Bermuda civics class a lie? Like <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, fish chowder? Like Okay, no, but fish chowder is the national dish, but one of the more recognized dishes is codfish and potato. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to say this in a Bermudan scene. Codfish and potato is a wow, okay? That is thebomb.com. I will actually be doing a video on that, guys, so you'll get to see how to make it, all right? Yeah, so codfish and potato is bomb, but at the end of the day, our national dish is fish chowder. Ooh. Anyways, fact number four, we have our own dollar. Yes, it's called the Bermudan dollar, and it's actually one-to-one -one with the U.S. dollar. And I'm not sure if this is a thing, but we have, like, the most colorful money. Yeah, we do. Like, I will insert some pictures, people, of our money. It is so colorful. It's, like, really beautiful. Like, you don't want to spend it. But living in Bermuda, you gotta spend it. Because Bermuda is so expensive. Anyways, we'll get into that. But yeah, we have one of the most beautiful colored monies. Okay? It's like, it's really pretty. It's really, really, really nice. Alright, I think I am at fact number three. I think so. But yes. People, Bermudians, love to drink alongside with partying they love to drink all right like if a hurricane is coming Bermudians are not buying food they're buying liquor if a tsunami is coming people they're not buying food they're buying liquor Bermudians love to drink like they love to drink i'm pretty sure right now a lot of Bermudians in this corona time have stocked up on liquor all right now we have a drink that is quote unquote called the bermuda traditional drink it's called rum swizzle and um trust me people always craze about it so for all my tourists who do drink <laughs> if you're gonna go to bermuda try the rum swizzle 
we also have our black rum that's made by goslings so that's another signature drink as well guys and actually black rum is a part of rum sizzle with a lot of grenadine and orange juice and pineapple juice and orange slices and a lot of things are going in there so yeah rum sizzle guys that i hear is the bomb.com all right <laughs> next fact i think we're at fact number two now we have pink sand no i am not kidding you people people when i tell people this they think i'm lying we have pink sand people like our beaches are so beautiful we have pink sand it's so pretty but yeah that pink sand is actually made up of a red organism that lives on the coral reefs and that organism is called fora minilera Fora minilera. Fora, mir Fora minilera. Yeah, guys. So that organism, when it dies and it breaks down, it actually washes up with the coral, giving the sand that pink appearance. Like, I wish I had a bottle to show you guys. Like, uh, it's so pretty. And it gives the beaches a really beautiful appearance. Like, can you imagine crystal clear waters with pink sands? Like... Uh, it's mesmerizing people i am not even trying to od right now <laughs> like it's really pretty and as i said again horseshoe bay is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world you can look that up okay and coming to the last one fact number one bermuda has the highest cost of living index now for all of those who don't understand that i'm gonna break it down for you okay bermuda is expensive and it's really expensive to live in okay it's like really expensive and when i tell people this they don't believe me but people bermuda is expensive okay former bermudas comment below and tell these people how bermuda is expensive okay the cost of living there is high like a bread i'm not even gonna say prices because i don't want to scare anybody okay and even though the cost of living is high it's a beautiful place as i said before and i am proud to call it the land of my birth bermuda oh bermuda um yeah guys so <laughs> that is 10 facts about my hometown bermuda it is a beautiful place if there are any tourists watching this when corona is done that needs to be the first place on your bucket list okay you need to go to bermuda <laughs> first all right and if you're gonna go to bermuda guys make sure you visit horseshoe bay crystal caves green grotto bay make sure you go to dockyard oh my gosh dockyard is like the most historical part of bermuda okay make sure you visit all those sites and don't forget to tell people that jay antoinette sent you there all right so guys thanks for tuning in for another video catch me in the next one and please guys don't forget to subscribe and also i have posted on my instagram um that i want to do a video on q a so if you guys want me to answer any questions just drop the questions on my instagram it's jasmine antonet underscore okay so thanks again guys for tuning in and like subscribe comment catch me in the next one bye